Hi, I'm Pete Holman. I'm an outpatient orthopedic physical therapist, a certified strength and conditioning specialist, and a former U.S. National Taekwondo champion and team captain for the U.S. National Taekwondo team. Over the last four years, I've immersed myself in studying and researching the science and best practices behind something I'm calling asymmetrical bar training, or ABT. Although ABT training has been around for some time in the physical therapy and strength and conditioning world, it has more recently become relevant in the personal training, group fitness, and team training worlds. In this video, I'm going to answer the questions, what is ABT training, what types of ABT are out there, how is it going to benefit you and your clients, and how to incorporate ABT training into your strength and conditioning program. So, without further ado, let's take a deeper look at asymmetrical bar training. Asymmetrical bar training is a form of exercise using a rigid bar. However, instead of the resistance being connected to both ends of the bar, it's connected to only one. This creates a tremendous balance challenge for the user to maintain an upright, stable posture. It's going to activate the core muscles on every repetition, and it allows users to perform hundreds of different movement patterns using the asymmetrically loaded bar. Traditional strength and conditioning programs have done a great job of addressing body weight exercises like pull-ups, push-ups, and dips, powerlifting exercises such as deadlifts, squats, and bench press, and Olympic lifts such as clean and jerk and snatch. These are all tremendous exercises. However, none of them challenge the user in the transverse plane of motion. If we look at how the body moves in everyday life and sports, there's a huge rotational component present. In fact, if we take a closer look at the anatomy of the torso, you'll notice that the majority of the muscles are oriented in a diagonal fashion. This was something kinesiologist Logan and McKinney described as the Serape effect. This is a beautiful design which helps the body summate internal forces for throwing, striking, and kicking motions. So whether you're an elite level athlete, you're an aspiring athlete or weekend warrior, or you're just someone trying to defy the aging process, asymmetrical bar training has a tremendous carryover into your daily life and sports and is a great way to introduce rotation into your strength and conditioning programming. Let's now take a look at the different types of ABT. The first type we're going to talk about is cable column resistance. Most gyms have some form of adjustable cable column which often comes with a bar. Cable column resistance is ideal for building strength with slow controlled motions. The downside is that with higher speeds, the user can't control inertia and the system becomes jerky, diminishing the user experience. Cable columns also don't provide the distance needed for more advanced asymmetrical bar training exercises. The next form of ABT we're going to discuss is pneumatic resistance. Pneumatic resistance machines function using an air compressor, which allows users to either move the bar quickly and smoothly through a full range of motion, enhancing power, or slowly to build strength. Some pneumatic resistance machines, like the Kaiser Functional Trainer, also provide valuable quantitative feedback, such as reps performed, power per rep, and peak power. Both cable column machines and pneumatic ABT devices are ideal for one-on-one -on -one training and facilities that have the budget and space for this type of equipment. The next form of ABT we're going to discuss is elastic resistance, which simply uses surgical tubing or sports cords that come in a variety of resistance levels, allowing you to train for slow controlled motions for strength training or more ballistic speed motions for power and metabolic conditioning. The great thing about elastic resistance is it's highly portable and can be anchored essentially anywhere. Some units come with a large mouth anchoring carabiner which allows you to attach the carabiner to the resistance cord itself training essentially anywhere. Whether you have a small group, a large group, or a team training environment, the elastic resistance is a pretty good option. In fact, some manufacturers make a group training carousel which allows you to attach multiple users to the same unit training indoors or outdoors in a controlled environment. One of the drawbacks of elastic resistance ABT is that the cords do wear out over time and will need to be replaced depending on the volume and intensity of use. The final type of ABT is uneven bar loading. Uneven bar resistance is a simple way to create unbalanced loads with a traditional Olympic standard bar. 
One constraint of uneven bar loading is that it is hard to address the transverse plane of motion when kneeling or standing. For instance, chopping and striking movements are difficult to control with uneven bars. Let's now discuss the benefits of ABT training. Balance was once defined by Donatelli as an effort to maintain equilibrium, posture, and alignment, and is fundamental in daily life and sports. ABT devices challenge balance by introducing uneven forces through the upper body. However, unlike BOSU balls or tilt boards, they connect the upper body to the lower body through the core. This kinetic chain linking is an excellent strategy to maximize functional carryover for life and sports. The next benefit of asymmetrical bar training is core strength. Whether you're trying to lift heavy objects or move at a high rate of speed, the spine needs to be stable to maximize power transfer and minimize injury to the spine. Dr. Stuart McGill introduces what he calls a torsional buttressing task to most of his core performance programming. Torsional buttressing is simply anti-rotation, and ABT training is a great way to train for anti-rotation. The lever bar gives us a unique ability to modify intensity in real time by either holding the bar close to the body or stretching it further away for increased tension. We also have the ability to change our hand position on the bar to reduce our mechanical advantage, decrease our leverage over the system, and make the exercise harder. Once we have good proximal stability around the core, we can layer in distal mobility above and below to increase the benefits of asymmetrical bar training. The final benefit we're going to discuss in regards to ABT is rotational power. Now we spoke at the onset how important rotation is for sports in everyday life. Historically we've trained for rotational power using a medicine ball. However, most facilities don't have a concrete wall that accommodates this modality. A great alternative is a pneumatic device like this one shown here, or an elastic resistance device which can pretty much be hooked up anywhere to train for rotational power. Now there's a bunch of different rotational power movements which are all great, however my favorite is a strike. A striking pattern involves a concurrent pushing, pulling, and rotation which is a great way to summate internal forces and generate power from low to high through that kinetic chain. You can add an accuracy component which helps engage the personal trainer and really keeps your client cognitively stimulated. If you add in a stepping pattern to the push, pull, and rotation, now we have a very complex movement pattern which has high carryover to life and sports. Finally, let's take a brief look at some programming options for ABT. Standing facing away from the anchor point and performing a squat press, facing the anchor point and performing a squat row, and standing sideways to the anchor point performing a squat rotation is a great way to activate the core and stimulate the central nervous system. Block training is another format for introducing ABT into your programming. By introducing a 10 minute core block out of a 60 minute session is a great way to address chop and lift patterns, reflexively activate the core, and assess asymmetries from left to right. For more information on chop and lift variations, take a look at Voigt, Hogenboom, and Gray Cook's work. One technique widely used in power training circles is complex training. Complex training employs one set of high load exercise followed immediately by a set of an explosive movement pattern. This can be accomplished on an ABT system by performing a torsional buttressing task immediately followed by an explosive rotational movement pattern. A study by May in 2010 found that complex training increased power development in Division I collegiate athletes. The final way to incorporate ABT training is a total body workout. By starting with isometric positions to activate the core, layering in greater ranges of motion to work on mobility and speed, and adding complexity of movement, you can have a tremendous workout that challenges balance, challenges core strength, and enhances rotational power. To find my published article on asymmetrical bar training and a complete list of references, please find the January 2015 copy of Idea Fitness Journal. Bruce Lee once said, in every passionate pursuit, the pursuit counts more than the object being pursued. Thank you for joining me on my pursuit and helping improve other people's movement, function, and lives through asymmetrical bar training.